Hello everyone, this is Stefan. Welcome back for another video. So, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a quick introduction of this uh, MIDI controller from M Audio. This is the Oxygen Pro Mini. So let's explore it together. If you're planning to buy, let's say, your first MIDI controller, this is going to be like a quick view. This is not an in-depth review of this product. I'm still learning as well. So let's learn together let's explore together so if you're planning to buy this keyboard at least you can have an idea what's going on i'm going to show you the software what software comes with so yeah let's let let's start with the video make sure to subscribe turn your bell notification if you want to see more videos like this one and also if you have any questions leave it in the comments down below so i already opened the software this is the software that comes also comes with a very interesting free software as well so let's let's explore it now so let's make some beats i'm very excited because i mean this this is my first steps to uh beat making sure i say i don't know i've always been fascinated but but i know i think it's hard but i think with practice you can achieve a lot of stuff. So without further ado, let's start, let's explore now. So this is the MIDI keyboard. It has 32 keys. As you can see, we have knobs here. We have faders. We have buttons. We have drum pads, which this is one of my favorite thing. I'm going to show you what we can do with these drum pads. So let's, let's explore now. So let's start with something simple uh should we start with something so let me see uh okay let's let's start with this one so let me put the volume at least you can have idea so the drum pads are very nice as you can hear we already start to make some and you can explore so this is uh, i think it's bank a this is bank b i love it i love it so far so you can you can make music so let's 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 start with something simple so let me see what we have here Okay. Okay, so let's start with something simple now. So let's record this. So record, play. So as you can hear, this is the first um, kind of sound that we made. And now let's go to track two. And we can add something else. So for example, also we can, we can stop the overdub and we can try some sounds. I like this one, so I'm going to add this one now. Let me stop this metronome. So you can have an idea what's going on. Let's go to track three. And I'm gonna stop the overdub. And let's try something else. I like this one. So at least you can have an idea. Let's stop the overdub. Let's go to track four. So you can add tracks and you can just create your own music. You can create your own beat. Let's try something else. I like this one.
So you hope you, basically you have the idea. Let's go to track five. Let's yeah, the overdub is stopped. I like this one. You got the point, yes? Also, you can also play the keyboard as well. I'm going to show you right now. So let's go to track 6. And let's go to MIDI. And from here, we're going to try to find something that we like. So for example, uh, I don't know, maybe some lead some lead song some leads and let's let's record that Obviously, this is not the perfect beat, but you got the point. I need some bass, actually. I need some bass. Let's go to track 7. Let's go back. What do you think about this track so far? I know it's not the perfect one, but... And also you can add multiple tracks, multiple sounds as well. You can add different sounds. No, we don't want to stop that. Uh, another thing that you can make is, you can go here, obviously we're going to stop that now, and you can double, as you can see nothing is happening, but when you record that again, And then if we press the pad, we can unmute the sounds as you can see. So you got the point. I mean, obviously I'm still learning. This is not the perfect, the most interesting beat that you can do, but I mean, you can do a lot, a lot of cool stuff with this MIDI keyboard. I'm still learning as well. So yeah, I'm very excited about this keyboard. You can assign different um, mapping of the, 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 the MIDI controller. So you can try to, so for example, you can play, as you can see, you can stop, you can record, uh, you can use the faders as well. I don't know what happened here. So anyway, so let me show you what programs actually are coming here. So if we open uh, our M Audio Manager, now I'm going to show you uh, what software actually comes with this MIDI keyboard, which is quite nice. No, I don't want to do that now. Uh, something happened with my, my Mac. <laughs> Um, I'm recording, uh, screen recording as well, so I want to show you that as well. So as you can see, when you buy the MIDI keyboard, this is all the software that comes. So obviously Hybrid, hybrid Tree, um, Mini, Mini Grand, Velvet, MPC Beats comes as well. MPC Beats Map, so basically this is the mapping that I just saw a couple of seconds ago when you assign all the buttons. 
um, Ableton Live Lite Pro Tools first M Audio Edition, also Stove Melodics, and this is all the free um, sound packs that came with with the MPC Beats as well. So this is all included when you buy uh, this MIDI keyboard. Also, we have uh, a lot of sound packs which I didn't install yet. So there we have it guys let me know what do you think about this midi keyboard i know this is not the perfect example to show you this keyboard but i'm still learning as well and for me it's i don't know still new but i enjoy it i enjoy it this is very simple as you can see for not professional like me i mean if you're professional i reckon you need probably about 10 minutes and you're gonna be perfect so yeah thank you very much for watching if you have any questions please leave it in the comments down below as always thank you very much subscribe and i will see you in the next video